Hi friends and welcome back to Manda Muse. So I'm excited to bring you a very interactive Q&A today. I'm going to be sharing with you some skincare products that I've been recently trying and also answering all of your questions via a Q&A. So I threw out a prompt over on Facebook so you'll have to follow me there so that your question can be featured in the next one. A big thank you to Fankel for sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video. So without further ado, let's get into this. I'm going to be sharing with you five products and I'm actually going to show you how to use them on my face while also answering all of your questions. So this should be pretty fun. All right, let's get into it. So one of the reasons I'm pretty excited to try out the skincare line is that it's 100% preservative free. So one of the things that you can often find in a lot of different types of skincare are preservatives because you need to preserve the product. And the reason that people question preservatives at times is because they're used, they're chemicals that prevent the growth of bacteria in your products, right? But there's research being done to test out like what happens to those same preservatives once they're absorbed into your bloodstream. So it's kind of nice to know that these products don't have any of that. So the first product I'm going to use is their mild cleansing oil. And it says here that it melts off all of your makeup. I'm not wearing any makeup at the moment, um, but I am going to use the product for you. It's a very lightweight oil. So first question is from Lisa Landers, and she was saying that she has a picky eater, and she's wondering how do you avoid this? How do you basically work around a picky eater? Now, I will say that being that Esme is five and Jack is nearly three, they certainly both have certain things that they like to eat and certain things they don't like to eat. Um, and the reality is it's a struggle, and we don't get every meal right. The long story short is that what I've been trying to do and what Dean has been trying to do is really get the kids involved in the selection of foods, what they like to eat, even the preparation if they can. And the hope is that they're invested in the food and that they want to continue to eat it. The other thing is that there's really something I want them to eat that I know they're not going to full out eat, like spinach, for example. It's so nutrient dense and I really want them to eat it, but I know that they won't. I sneak it into things. So I'll sneak it into smoothies or these banana monster muffins that the kids really like. So for me, the art of deception and involvement have really worked. Okay, so I'm just going to rinse this off. That's a very lightweight oil. It's really nice. I'm pretty excited to show you this little puppy. <laughs> this is called a foaming net and it's really fun to use. In fact, I keep having to hide it from Esme because it's mommy's, it's not Esme's. <laughs> but before I get into this, uh, Sarah Trandum was wondering, what are some of my go-to meals? So on the subject of food, what are things that we like to cook? Um, without fail, some stuff that works for both kids is roast beef with mashed potatoes and a lovely beef gravy. And if I can sneak in some vegetables, I try, but off more often than not, they just go for the potatoes and the meat. Both kids will eat mashed potatoes and gravy, which is a win. Um, Esme loves noodles of any kind, generally plain, which is boring, but she eats them. She loves fresh things, fresh fruit, all of that stuff. So I find like platters go a long way with Esme. She loves tacos. Jackie likes tacos. It's hard to even pinpoint what exactly they eat. I feel like it changes from day to day. It's, it's, it's a struggle, like for real, I'm in, I'm in the depths of struggle with food for sure, but they both will eat smoothies um, and I sneak in lots of stuff into my smoothies to make them taste delicious, let me tell you. But on the other side of it, I continue to make foods that Dean and I like to eat. We love soups of any kind, especially like broccoli and cheese soup, and I keep trying with the kids and I think that's, I haven't given up on that, you know, and I feel like one day they're going to eat all the things. At least that's the hope. And I want to just keep having that food readily available. So Jackie loves lasagna and Esme will occasionally eat it. All I'll say is this. It's hit and miss every day. Who knows from day to day, but I just keep trying and I feel like I'll get there eventually. At least I hope. Okay, so on to the next product. So there are two cleansing options. You can use the powder or you can use the cream. I really like the powder. I think it's really fun to use, but I will also show you the cream just so you can see the difference. Now with the powder, you don't have to use the foaming net, but it just, it's kind of fun. This sponge feels a lot like a sponge, like you would use like a loofah kind of thing. So this thing is really easy to use. Um, you don't have to use it with the powder. You can just do it with your hand. First thing you do is wet the foaming net. <laughs> Once you have it nice and wet, you kind of flip it inside out and you're going to see a little cup where you apply your powder. So now I'm gonna take my powder. I'm gonna pour a little bit in here. And then you bring up the rest of the net and you do a little shaky shaky to make powder, but to make your foam basically. And you can decide how much foam you actually need. 
So while I'm foaming this up, Kimberly Ann Meffert was asking if I have any more projects on the go for the house because in my last video, um, I did a big bathroom reveal. So not this bathroom, although this is a new bathroom, but our bathroom downstairs. And in terms of little projects, we certainly do. I mean, I think that's the thing, when you buy a house that's a bit of a fixer upper, you're taking on projects. And so one thing that Dean's working on right now is we are, we've basically made a fireplace downstairs. So we put in a gas fireplace and Dean has built the exterior, the mantle, and he's put up beautiful rocks. I mean, it looks amazing. And then we wanna work on the other half of our basement, which still needs to be painted and we still have to put some flooring down. Um, but that's certainly what we have going on downstairs. We're looking to get Dean a workbench built up and some storage area for the TV kind of thing. So I would say the focus is certainly on our basement. And then with the spring coming, we'd like to put in a deck and get that sorted because our deck needed to be repaired when we moved in, but we left it knowing we would take care of it this spring, this spring and summer kind of thing. So those are some projects on the go. And in terms of safety around the house, you know, I kind of asked Dean that just before filming and he goes, you know, we just talk to the kids about what's daddy's and how these things work and what you can play with. And they don't pay much attention to it, to be honest. So I'm pretty sure it varies from kid to kid, but we haven't had any issues with the kids hurting themselves with any of Dean's tools or nails or whatever. I mean, we put stuff away. You don't just have like a random nail hanging around but they know what stuff is and they know what they're allowed to play with and what's daddy's and they help a lot to be honest like Dean gets them involved with hammers and I don't know they're just involved in the process so it's kind of a non-issue in that way but yeah I'm excited to show you guys the kind of projects we have coming up okay back to the foam so once you have it foamy as you would like you squeeze off the foam out of your foaming net and now you have this lovely foam which you can now apply wash your face it may look like it's thick and poofy like a like a shaving gel but it's, it's oh my goodness no it's really really lightweight I should mention that the Fanko products are actually great for all skin types even sensitive skin so my skin is normal to I could say it's normal skin. I am certainly having a little bit of outbreak right now, mainly hormonal, um, especially since I recently stopped breastfeeding. Well, I guess it's been like two months, but for me that's recent when you've been breastfeeding for as long as I have. And I will say, if you are sensitive to scent, this really has no scent in it. And then this one is just the, um, the, the cleansing cream, which also has a really nice consistency. I just dampened my fingers. Nicola Wiley was asking for some advice on potty training and can I just tell you I need advice I feel like Jack and I are almost there we need to be done with diapers like I am at my wits end at this point I've also heard it's a lot more challenging to potty train a boy so Esme basically trained herself can I be totally honest with you when Jack was born she was like two and a half she just started going pee on the potty and we lived in a tropical place so she was in her diapers half the time and she just did it on her own so Jack not exactly, but we'll get there. And when I have advice, girl, I'll share it, but I need some myself. <laughs> okay, so now you've seen both methods of cleansing. And one thing I'll say, note just about bottle size, because the Fankel products are preservative free, you will find that some of the bottles are small. Like this next, the next two products I'm about to use are on the smaller end, um, but they are hermetically sealed for pureness. So when you get them, they have a, a shelf date. I think they last up to three years without being opened. But once you open the seal, and then they have a certain amount, whether it's um, 60 days or 120 days, it's indicated on the box, but just something to mention. Samantha McTeague was asking for some advice because she's about to take a 14 hour flight while she's pregnant with a toddler. Do you have to go? <laughs> because girl, just know what you're getting yourself into. Um, are you flying by yourself or with a partner or your spouse? Uh, because I will say if you are, then don't worry about it. You should be fine. If you are flying by yourself, it's no joke. Um, and just prepare yourself for that. Just keep your expectations really low. Take your parenting style. If you're very strict or rigid about certain things, honestly, chuck it out the window because it's all about survival at this point. We're talking lollipops, treats. Have an idea what you might wanna buy if you wanna buy like a little gift at the airport or something, or even something for yourself, like treat yourself. And the other thing is please don't be afraid to ask for help. When I was traveling with my daughter while I was pregnant with Jack, um, I wasn't hugely pregnant, but I was pregnant. And I felt pregnant and I asked for help everywhere I went I did not hesitate to get my stuff my my suitcases off of the um, 
the belt. I found a, a sturdy looking man and I was like, excuse me, I'm traveling with my daughter. Could you help me? No problem. People love to help. Flight attendants love to help. Everybody loves to help. So just please ask for help. And um, just you got this. You can do it. And treat yourself when you land. Go for a massage. Get a pregnancy massage. Do something because it's no joke. So good luck. So the next item is called their active conditioning lotion. And again, because these little bottles are sealed for freshness, they just caution you to avoid touching the top of the of the product just so you don't get any anything in there, like any bacteria into the product itself because there are no preservatives to prevent that bacteria from growing. So to be on the safe side, I'm just going to tap some of the product onto my hand like so, and then apply it to your skin. So this again is a super lightweight lotion. It honestly feels a little bit like a toner, that kind of consistency. Um, don't forget your neck. <laughs> so Lonnie Joy was, she had a really great question. It's, it's something I think a lot of us struggle with. And she asked, you know, how do I deal with mom guilt, especially now that I'm working more? So I will say that it's something I feel like never goes away. No matter how much you can say you have yourself together and you have everything organized, um, I just feel like it's something that creeps in and it's I think it's a good thing in a way you know too much mom guilt too much of anything too many chips too many vitamins <laughs> too much mom guilt it's not good but I think a little bit is okay because it's almost like a way of saying like you find that this role that you have as a mom is really really important and as a result of it you take it very seriously and when you feel like you're, you're being spread too thin you struggle with it and I think that's totally normal I will say now that I'm working more I am struggling with it more and if you've been watching some of my vlogs, I'm pretty vocal about it. Um, but one thing I'm trying to do and try to be better at is just to be more organized with my time. And I used to think I was really good at time management and sometimes I am and sometimes I'm not. So what I'm actually trying to do but based on some feedback from my kids and from my husband, I need to pull back a little bit. And not so much from what I'm creating, but just more the time that I'm putting into creating, if you will. So not only am I creating videos and I'm here in front of the camera, but then there's behind the camera and then there's engagement on social media and Facebook shows and all sorts of things and, in, and events that I go to. And so basically what I've done is I'm taking Sundays off. So I have a video that goes live on Sunday. You're watching it now. Um, but actually on Sundays I just push go on the video and maybe reply to a few comments but I am just I don't sit at my desk I just chill out I watch movies with the kids I hang out we do family things we run errands whatever we want to do I'm there so basically my goal right now is Friday nights from when Esme comes home from school until she goes to bed no work Saturday in the day I try to do at least half the day no work and then Sundays definitely no work and that seems to be working out right now um but it's it's still it's still a struggle so does it ever go away i don't know i know this can seem like a lot of steps and there's a lot of products but really it's three steps the first step is you cleanse and you can choose which products you want to use so if you have like a full face of makeup you could use the cleansing oil to take off your makeup and then choose to use your foaming powder or your cleansing cream so you can decide you know how do you want to clean your skin cleaning done the next step is to then moisturize the skin which is what i just did with that very nice and light moisturizer and the last step is this one which is to lock in the moisture and this is fangle's active conditioning emulsion so to avoid getting any bacteria i'm not going to touch the the tip i'm just going to put a little bit into to my palm of my hand and then apply it onto my skin. I'm really loving that there is no scent. I find lately I'm just like I, I've been wearing perfume and I broke out a little weird patch of my skin right here because that's where I spray my perfume. So I'm just noticing scents are bugging me these days. So I just love that this is very, it's a very neutral scent. There really isn't much to it and it's really lightweight. So there we go, that is my current skincare situation. And I was so excited when Heather Steele left a comment saying she wants to know more about my skincare because she thinks my skin looks great, which thank you very much for the compliment. Um, but this is what I'm using right now. And I definitely try out different products here and there. And I think it's really important to test products out, see what works for your skin. Um, you know, sometimes you don't have time for all five products. You can pick and choose the ones you want to use. And speaking of testing, actually, if you are curious and trying any of these products out for yourself, um, you 
you're gonna find a link below. There's a survey there where you can enter a chance to win an opportunity to test out these products for yourself. So I would highly encourage you to go do that. Um, but before we wrap up this video, I'll end this one on a fun one um, about my husband. So Jenny Joy wanted to know, how did I meet my husband? So Dean and I have been together for 13 years, coming up 13 years. Yeah, because I'll be 33 this year and Dean and I met, I was 20, can you imagine? Um, so we've been together a while, but we actually met at work. Our love did not happen right away, but that's definitely where we met. And Dean is a pilot and I was working as a flight attendant, so you can only imagine how like how cliche can you get? Do you know what I mean? It's so silly. But hey, don't you find a lot of people these days? I mean, where are you going to meet people at work, at school, on the internet? Like, I don't know. What are your other options? So that's where we met. And I'm so glad we did because now I have two beautiful babies and an awesome bathroom. You have to go check out that reveal. Like, it's amazing. <laughs> and other things like love and travel and but bathrooms. Let's be serious. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. You can find me here on YouTube every Wednesday and Sunday. I also do a live show on Facebook on Tuesdays, so lots of opportunity to catch up with me. Please subscribe, thumbs up this video if you liked it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys!